Hey guys, how's it going? We are at Lowe's and I am looking at some plants. I just picked up a little container and now I'm trying to find some things. I think, I just looked out of the corner of my eye. I think I'm gonna grab one of these Hoopra coral bells. And I like the red. So I think I'm gonna grab one of these guys here. And I'm gonna try to find a few other things. I'm also gonna check out their clearance rack. Um, I'm so in the mood for springtime, you guys. <laughs> I'm ready to get in the garden and start planting everything. So let's do a little bit of shopping and see what they have. Okay, so I thought that I was gonna go with one of these dogwoods. The dogwoods really don't do great in our area. I just loved how brightly red they are. Sorry about how windy it is, you guys. Um, but then I found these Yu's, Euonymus, um, Green Spire, and for 12 bucks, that's not bad at all. And it is hardy down to a zone seven and it gets three to five feet tall and three feet wide. I probably, um, after about a year of it, probably after about a year of it being in the planter, I will trim it down and make it so it only gets about three feet tall and put it in the landscape. But I think I'm gonna grab one of these guys also. I love this section here. This is their Monrovia section that they have. Um, I got like little like flyers saying Monrovia. And this is where some of their bigger stuff is. But everything here looks so good and so happy. I love these like spirals right here. And for a hundred bucks, that's not bad actually. Look at, they also have like some boxwood ones, super pretty. And then they have these guys, I think this is called like cloud pruning. Super cool. And these, these like Italian cypress. Mint julep juniper 184 they're so pretty i really want those some more of these guys i really like these i like how like blue they are really love that what are they these are icy blue yellow wood and they're really pretty really like those and then they also have these guys an ornamental spruce and they're pretty soft actually they're not like spiky like a lot of these guys are which who is this this is the blues blue spruce but I really came here because I have a small planter I just bought that I need a couple things for so I got those two and then I was gonna come over here and check the clearance rack I love Lowe's for their clearance rack you can see like their prices so great but they have some like outdoor plants you can actually find like sometimes some cute little containers lots of succulents usually right now they have some primrose and i mean they have tons of racks here in my area this is like bougainvillea i think mandevillea mandevillea so what is it like half off of that right no. Yeah, this would be like $7 is what that would be. They have a lot of succulents over here right now, just because they're not doing very well with this cold weather. We got down to like 30 degrees. You can see it's so windy, so lots of things have fallen over. And of course I saw the white cans, and they have little lime hydrangeas, and I really was, I actually have these in my cart on their website right now because I was thinking about buying a couple of them. So I might have to pick these up. Let's see, heart shade, zones three through eight. We are zone nine, but I do plant like we're an eight sometimes. I love that they're only three to five feet tall and wide, so they're not massive. And look at that color. I think I'm gonna pick one of these up because they're only, look at that, 20 bucks for a hydrangea. Yeah, we're gonna get one. Let's see who looks the best. has a couple broken branches. Nope, that's not even his branch. I don't love that. I think this guy right here. I can't get it. This guy right here looks really good. Just pull that off. Ah, perfect little hydrangea, little lime. Got you. Okay, I need to find something else to go in here. Maybe just a couple little flowers. Let's get out of here. It's so cold. I love shopping at Lowe's. Okay, but also look how bright these are. But because our Lowe's has so many big trees, 
here, you can see, um, like it's crazy. It goes all the way there to there. And then if I turn slowly, our Lowe's also has some big trees back here in this Monrovia section, and then some medium-sized trees right back there. So our Lowe's is pretty, pretty good at staying super well stocked. You can see like, this is also all Monrovia right here. I'm gonna head over there and go look at what those guys are. Okay, it's just some succulents. I don't need succulents right now. But look, they have like ferns, all kinds of stuff. What are you? Smoke tree. And then look, look at flowers. It's that time for us here, guys. Camellia, $49, not bad at all. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add some anemones, maybe. But let's go up here. Oh my gosh, it's so cold, you guys. My hands are freezing. Okay, who do we have? Maybe I'll tuck in some of this Dusty Miller. It's a little six pack. Yeah, I think we'll grab one of these guys. And we can just tuck those in. So we have some red, some blue, some green, and then either some, I don't love any of these pansies here. So maybe I'll go with some cyclamen. Maybe that variegated like purple and white one right there is really pretty. Oop, I lied, I saw something else. Okay, what I saw was this Dianthus here. They're really soft and really pretty, but I don't know. I don't know. I like the like icy blue of the foliage with this. Maybe this is wrong. Oh, I'm just gonna add it to the cart and we'll just go. Let's go grab some of those cyclamen and then we're gonna get out of here. Oh, they're huge. I think they're too big. Oh, there's smaller ones up here. But I don't need them that big. I don't want pink. Okay, so I had to come to, <laughs> I had to come to the out front area because this is where they keep a lot of like annuals and things. Maybe a couple of these little guys. These three dollars. I do like these. I'll get one of these to tuck in. I don't want stock, antenna. Maybe I'll need two of these. I think I need two of these guys. I just like those. I don't love the like dead ones, so those all get deadheaded. But as they age, they kind of turn purple, so like a purpley pink arrangement. over there. There's Brent walking away from me because he thinks I'm a crazy person. So let's see what's on this side. No, this is crazy. They want six dollars for one one can. That's insane. We're gonna go with these guys. I think we got everything we needed. It is cold, it is windy, and I gotta go pick my sister up from school. So I'm gonna head in and go check out. Okay guys, oh my gosh, people are crazy. Okay guys, I got everything from Lowe's and I'm headed home. Okay, so everything's tucked in and pro tip is to, when you're transplanting your planters, put them upside down. They're less likely to topple over than if they are this way, they're more likely to roll around. So when you buy a new planter, go home with it upside down. We're home. I think I'm gonna just do this quick, but this is the planter I got. I like it, I like the color of it. Brent doesn't like the color of it, but that's fine. I got this from Home Goods. it was like 20 bucks. And I'm gonna fill it up real quick, and I think I'm gonna make this side the back of it. You can see the tag that's here. I can't really get it off. Um, I don't know why they insist on putting the tags in areas that like you can see, but whatever. So this will be the back. Um, and I think that this guy is gonna be kind of tucked in the very back like this for some height. And all of these guys around I have some Dusty Miller. We have some Violas. I got two packs of those. I have this Dianthus. 
And then I also picked up this Bacopa. It's a pink one and I really liked it. I did put back that Hookra. Um, yeah, so let's just jump into this and get this guy done. This is what I'm using. This is Plant Tone, my favorite. I'm just gonna go in with maybe like two handfuls of that. Okay, maybe three. This stuff stinks, but it is so good. So I'm kind of gonna make like a little bit of a well in the back. I'm gonna start with this bigger guy here. up against the back kind of as tight as possible this is gonna go on the table that we have out here and you can't really see it from all sides uh, when you're up close you'll you'll be able to see the back when you're on the other side of the property but you won't be paying attention to that um, so I want it to be nice from three sides we've had a lot of water I'm gonna tuck some of these Dusty Miller in here, probably three of these. This guy in right down there. And one more. I want one more in here. I can fit one more in there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kinda go in and tuck in. There's still a couple holes and I'm just gonna tuck in some more soil. I'm gonna turn this from... Hey guys, I'm in the middle of editing the video right now, but I forgot to say goodbye to you guys. So goodbye, thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one, bye. Mm -hmm.